Hello and welcome to Craft Camp. I'm Emily and today we are going to be making this tropical garland out of our die cut leaf set that we have available on our shop feltpaperscissors.com. We already taught you how to make a wreath out of this kit, but I wanted to go over making this really cute watercolor garland. I think this would be a great piece for party decor or even just putting up in your home. All right, let's get started. For our tools and materials, we are going to be using this tropical leaf set. Now this comes already die cut and you can just pop all the leaves out as you work. We also have some embroidery floss, scissors, some embroidery needles, and I also am going to be using this watercolor set to add a little bit of extra color to the leaves. You could also use colored pencils or markers or anything you have on hand. Along with that, I'm going to be adding in these little wooden beads between each leaf just for a little extra fun, and I have the 12 millimeter wooden beads. I also have our brand new paper curler here, and I'm going to use this just to add a little bit of curve and dimension to our leaves once they're on the thread. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start off by adding some watercolor to these leaves to add a little bit of extra texture. Again, you can use whatever you'd like. If you have colored pencils on hand or markers, just go ahead and experiment on the side of the paper before you add it to the leaves. If you have this watercolor palette, I'm going to be using mainly these darker blues and greens right in here. And I'll just start with a little bit of color on my brush. You don't wanna to have too much water. I learned while experimenting with this a little bit. And then you can just go in and paint. And the thing about this that I think is a little extra fun is that you can kind of go wherever you want with this watercolor and let it pool and smudge around. You want whatever kind of natural texture you can get. So don't be afraid, just kind of experiment and play. I think this side looks pretty good. Let's try one over here. Maybe I'll go in with a bit of blue this time. And I like it when it does this beading on top because it adds that really interesting look. And once I have a little bit of color on, I can go in, maybe I'll do this limey green and I can just kind of blob some on, get a little more water on there. Let them run together, nice and fun. I love watercolor. And since these are already die cut, you can just kind of scribble across the page and have fun with it. And then once they're all dry, you can just pop them right out and it looks nice and intentional. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside to dry. I did want to keep some of the leaves plain and some of them colored, but let me show you what it looks like when they're dry. All right, so these are the ones that I watercolored yesterday and I set to dry and I popped them out and you can see all this fun color and texture that I've got in there. I think these look really cool. And even the ones where it was really beading quite a lot, like I love the way that this looks. I think it's got a lot of really interesting texture. Since I'm going to be using a mixture of both the painted and the unpainted for this garland, I'm going to go ahead and arrange these how I want them to go on the garland before I get started. So we'll mix in all of the rest of our leaves and and I'm just going to kind of set them out in the order that I want them to be in. All right, now I've got all of my pieces in the order that I want them to be in. We're gonna go this way and then this way, and that will be the end. I did mix in a few of the unpainted ones, but I barely scratched the surface with this book. There are so many leaves in this set. I think that you could make this massive if you wanted to. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and thread some floss. I'm gonna use one of the larger needles because I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the full strand, not separate this out at all. Now we can just kind of measure how long this is going to be. Probably more about double that. And then I'm gonna give a bit of extra for our beads. I've got my floss threaded on my needle and I folded it over quite a lot so that I'm not working with too much extra thread at the beginning. And I'm going to just start with a wooden bead. So we'll get this threaded on here. I'm gonna move it all the way down to the end. And then I'm going to just loop it back through one more time in the same direction just to give it this nice little secure holding spot here. And you can see this just kind of loops the thread around the bead like this, and you can still move it, but it's pretty secure. And I've left a little bit of tail so that you can hang it, and then we'll start threading our leaves. 
I'll start with the first one. And I'm not going to bend these or curl them at all yet. I just wanna get them on the thread and then we'll go back and add that shape once we're done. So I'm going in and back out. Let's keep these leaves nice and straight. And then this is where you can decide how much spacing you want between each leaf and each bead. I think keeping consistency would be nice, but you can use whatever style you'd like. For the next leaf, I am going to just layer these two on like that, and I want them to sit kind of like this. So I'll just keep that in mind while I'm placing my needle through. I love the watercolor look on these. Here's a plain one, we'll just add it in. And you can see I'm pulling the needle through on this area where there's a bit more bulk. I don't wanna use this stem because it would probably tear if I tried to hang it from that. So we're going through where there's a bit more meat to it. This little skinny guy is a bit tricky to thread, but I kind of went up and down a little bit instead of side to side. I did tear one of the leaves, um, so feel free to experiment with this one. And if you come up with a nice method of threading this one, just let us know in the comments below. And there we go. I went ahead and took the needle off and we've got this full, beautiful, tropical garland with those added little touches. Now I'm just going to go in and curl any leaves that I want to give a little bit of extra dimension. You can see from the die cut leaves, they have some crease lines on them. So if you want to use those, you can fold along the crease lines to get that really beautiful dimensional shape. And with that, we have this beautiful tropical garland ready to decorate any room or party. And I think it just came out so cute. Thank you so much for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed making this watercolor garland. You can find all of these tools and materials on our shop, feltpaperscissors.com. See you next time.